Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today I want to share with you one of my favorite fungi and a little bit more about the genus that it's in and its anatomy and I hope you enjoy learning a little bit more about it and seeing a pretty weird fungus that's out there in the world. And that fungus is Calistoma cinnabarinum. Just check out this evolution. It starts off like a gelatinous fish egg. Then the outer layers peel away to reveal a bright red puffball full of yellow spores. Stay tuned until later in the video to see some action shots of spores coming out of a different Calistoma species. So let's start with the genus, Calistoma. Calistoma translates to pretty lips, and a lot of the species names in the genus play on the words lips or mouth, which is kind of gross if you ask me, but you know, I don't make the rules. Calistoma is a genus of gastroid fungi, which means it produces spores inside its fruiting body. The gastroid grouping is artificial, so while we used to taxonomically group organisms by their physical characteristics, in this case of the gastroids, fungi with internal sacs of spores, the advent of molecular genetics has shuffled taxonomy around quite a bit. So while Calistoma may resemble a puffball like Lycoperdon, it turns out it's actually more closely related to bolete mushrooms. All species of Calistoma are ectomycorrhizal. If you haven't seen my video on the relationship between some fungi and plants, I'll link to that in the description. Calistoma cinnabarinum is mycorrhizal with oaks. All right, now let's get into the anatomy of this weird looking fungus from top to bottom. The apical pore is where the spores come out. It's an osteole surrounded by a raised peristome. The outer skin of the fruiting body is called the peridium, and in this genus it's often made up of multiple layers. The gleba is the inner mass of spores. And lastly, the stalk is reticulate or netted and hygroscopic, which means it expands with precipitation. So now that you know a little bit more about its anatomy, let's return to that strange evolution of Calistoma cinnabarinum. Its fruiting body starts off below the soil, but as a stalk expands with the water intake, it pushes above the soil. At first, it's covered in this squishy gelatinous membrane, which as far as I could tell doesn't have a fancy name or serve a known purpose, but it's definitely poke-worthy. As the fungus ages, the gelatinous membrane peels away, taking with it pieces of the red coating underneath. A few weeks ago, I ran into some Calistoma lutescens, which is related to the Calistoma cinnabarinum, but in my opinion, not quite as cool because it doesn't have that gelatinous membrane. But in any case, I thought I would take some recordings of myself poking it so you can see just how cool these fungi are when they release their spores. So that's my video on Calistoma. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.